When I was writing this book I wrote a couple of years ago called I Am Not My Father, which was my attempt to say to all of us that history always repeats itself where there's no resistance to it doing so. Someone has to say, not on my watch. And I did that with my children, doing a better job than my dad did. But when I was writing the book, although I hadn't spoken to my father for over 30 years, even though he only lives half an hour away from me, in our teenage years, because of his violence, we all scattered. We scattered from him, but from each other. So none of us as siblings have had any life together because we scattered in our teenage years. And I'm writing the book, realizing as I'm writing it, I am getting triggered by things in my childhood that I felt vulnerable about as I'm writing it, but I didn't know how to express that or whether I wanted to express that. And I realized that I had an option, you have an option. You have a choice to either lean into that space and explore it, knowing it won't, won't be a good outcome necessarily. People often misunderstand your vulnerability. They feel it's indulgent. They'll feel it is inappropriate. They'll feel uncomfortable. See, when you are vulnerable around people that aren't, it's uncomfortable. 